This is The Murderer. It's a painting made in 1910 by Edvard Munch. It's less famous than The Scream, but it has a terrifying story. It was inspired by a legendary event, the last peacetime public execution in Norway by beheading. Munch was fascinated by these grim stories. His father loved to tell his children scary tales that often ended in blood. He was obsessed with images of love, separation, anguish and death. Monk depicted the murderer as a faceless figure in dark clothes, striding forcefully along a rural road. The unidentifiable landscape could be anywhere in southern Norway. The man depicted in the painting is Christopher Nielsen Svartbekken Grindalen. He was a thief, a criminal and of course a killer. His life was dreadful. He started to work at age 12. He spent 41 years of his last 46 years in prison or slavery, 60% of his entire life. Strangely, when working as a traveling dealer, he sometimes gave free candy to children in the street. But let me tell you, he was still pretty awful. Picture the scene. Before the scaffold, over 3,000 people are waiting. The atmosphere is electric. 100 soldiers have been sent to the court to stand guard. Around 8.30 in the morning, the man they have been waiting for arrives. Christopher Nielsen Svartbekin Grindelen, the 72-year-old, had been a criminal for much of his life. But his last act dwarfed all the others. It was at the annual Grunset Market that he would commit his final crime. There he met 19-year-old Even Nielsen Dalen. Grindalen befriended him, and they began to eat and drink coffee together. The young Dalen who was on his way to his parents' farm, offered Grindelin a ride. Grindelin had planned to rob Dalen, and after they stopped, he attacked and killed Dalen with an axe. Shortly afterwards, Grindelin was found by the sheriff and the police, with blood on him and Dalen's wallet. His punishment? Death sentence by beheading. The execution took place on February 25th, 1876. It was only a few days before this date that he confessed to the murder. Before the execution, when the priest asked Grindalen if he thought the sentence was fair, answering with a booming voice, Grindalen said, Yes. So the executioner let his axe fall on Grindalen's neck, and not a sound was heard among the huge crowd. Many curious youngsters had climbed the trees to catch the event. When the blood spurted, and the headsman held up Grindalen's head, Many of them fainted and fell down. Grindelin's body was transported to the local church. Today, the grave stands lonely and squeezed against the cemetery wall, at a good distance from the other graves. Monk's painting perfectly captured the threat Grindelin represented. Monk captured it so well, we can still see the influence of his painting today. Just look at the infamous Leatherface from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre or Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th series. Same face, or more correctly, same absence of face, no eyes, only two dark holes sucking your soul in, and the same image of the killer walking calmly toward his diabolical goal, bringing upon you ineluctable pain, agony and death, and the same thought looping in your head. 